Wentz ready. Has it. Play fix. Throws the dart. Caught by Nakua. Right side 50. Puka Nakua breaks Bill Broman's record by NFL rookies for most receiving yards in a debut season. Now he needs one more reception to break Jalen Waddle's rookie record. Carson Wentz in the shotgun, has the snap, throws down the line left, leaping catch made by Puka, cuts inside, tripped up inside the 45. The 20th receiver drafted in this class now stands alone in NFL history among rookie receivers. What a, res what a season this guy had. Puka Nakua joins us live from Las Vegas. Basically, if your name isn't Randy Moss, you've never had a rookie season at wide receiver like you, Puka Nakua. Uh, how was that run for you this year? Huh? Um, that is crazy. Huh? <laughs> it has been, it's been wild. <laughs> Puka, are you ever not smiling? Kyle Brandt was on Good Morning Football Monday after the Pro Bowl. Like, he had his son there. He had a picture of you and his son on the field. It was cool than Orlando flag football and all this. And he made a point that at no point over the weekend were you not smiling just like this. And, and, and Puka, I never saw you in Thousand Oaks or in Irvine or in anywhere the Rams went this year. And you didn't look just like this. <laughs> I, I, I'm having such a blast. I, I'm blessed to be where I'm at. And I, I enjoy being around the people that I've been around, and it's been so fun, especially at the Pro Bowl. It, it was I, I was a big I was fangirling the whole time, so I was like, oh man, it was the opportunity to meet all of these guys I've been watching for a long time. All these guys have been balling, so I I, I had a smile on my face because I felt like the the little five year old Puka who was watching football was was screaming inside. <laughs> Look, it, it, it's great because every day when you go to the Rams facility, you get a chance to see a Pro Bowl player in Cooper Cup. What are some of the things that you've learned from watching him go to work every day? Uh, that he has a routine. His uh, recovery process is uh, is something that I, I try to take in and build some of those things that he does into mind because his ability to understand that how much it, it takes to be able to recover and get back out there on Sundays is something I saw firsthand and I was like, wow, I definitely wasn't, wasn't taking the necessary steps to be recovering the way I should have been. Puka, um, I had this conversation with Cooper with Cooper back in, in September. He nursed the hamstring, for those who don't remember, throughout camp, and then again in September. And, and you had an opportunity to get all those reps, right? To have Cooper there on the field at practice, coaching you through the finer points and talking to Matthew and coaching you through all the little things that he needed you to do. And it kind of hit me, if he hadn't gotten injured, and, and look, he came back and had a good year, that maybe you wouldn't have been able to have the rookie year that you did because you wouldn't have had all that hands-on coaching and all those extra reps. Do you buy that? Yeah, a hundred percent. I think, uh, especially like I know there's a, a moment during training camp where I was mic'd up and I, I was a, as a, one of the harder practices I had during training camp. And Coop was right there, and he, uh, I ended up finishing the practice really well. But it was Coop who was the one who helped pick me back up. He could see that I was struggling, but as soon as he, he was right there by my side and allowed me to, he picked me up and he, he did that uh, as many times as he could during the season. And I'm forever grateful for that. You know, it's one thing to have a veteran receiver to help you out, but another is uh, a big-time quarterback like Matthew Stafford. Uh, what has that relationship been like playing with a veteran who's as talented as Matthew Stafford is? How did he help you kind of get it going your rookie season? It's been, it, uh, it was a huge blessing. Uh, he, his ability to put the ball anywhere on the field he wants to makes uh, my job super easy. But then uh, hit that combination of him and Coop uh, just makes uh, being in that offense so fun, especially when we have Coach McVay at the top. But Matthew, uh, uh, it's funny because I know that story came out where he's like, oh, he's not connecting with the young guys. But I was like, wait. I was like, I swear Matthew likes me. I was like, I have a conversation <laughs> with him at least maybe once or twice a day. <laughs> Man, that must be rough, like finding out on social media that, that you know your big brother at work doesn't actually like you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, what, what is this? Um, I want to go back to Orlando Puka because we, they, we saw that video. Uh, I know we wore it out. Let's play it again. Of you, like on a wakeboard here uh, in, in the water, trying to catch footballs. How many takes did you need? Because I saw the David Njoku one where he was doing flips, and it looked like he had to do that for three hours. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, that I know that flip did it, but that was actually the catch was on my first one. They no were, I tried to do a couple one handers, but yes, that was my first catch. I, the one handed ones didn't go as smoothly as that one, but that's why I was so excited. I was like, yeah, when I when they showed me, I was like, let's go. They got the first one, so I was excited. <laughs> I mean, is that something you did as a kid in Provo? I mean, is that like you know just Utah fun? 
A little bit, yeah, back in the lakes. So not um, in the little pulley system, but on the back of the boats. I, I, I've done a couple wakeboarding, but never as fast as we were going on that system that they had. I mean, you saw the Cirque du Soleil at, at, at Honors last night. You could, like, mix that in, and maybe you guys could do the <laughs> halftime show next year. Just throwing an idea out there for the Rams marketing team. Uh, Puka, speaking of marketing, tell me, tell us what you're doing there for Toyota. Yeah, so Toyota uh, during the season became the new official automotive partner of the NFL, which is so exciting. That means they're new. A uh, little uh, rookie feel with me as well, entering the league and stuff. So it's so exciting. But then uh, we're going to have a Super Bowl experience uh, here with a – it's uh, going to be an interactive kind of uh, – obstacle course where the fans are good to come hang out and uh, see some of the cars that uh, Toyota is doing and also they got the new 2024 Tacoma which I didn't know I was a truck guy but I think I'm uh, going to purchase now because I, my family will love being able to sit in the back and we'll go. go all over the mountains in Utah and they it'll be a blast yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well done Puka you're, I mean you're, you don't seem like a rookie doing the pitch thing so well done with that and do, do us a favor Puka will you please don't change <laughs> All right, be you. Like, this is great, man. Congratulations on a great year. And uh, you've been going since really the Senior Bowl last year. So hope you can, like, get a break and take a nap at one point, okay? <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm excited to put my toes in the sand. Thank there you, you so much. Puka <laughs> everybody. You had a fantastic season.